Hey guys, it's been quite a while since I last did an unboxing video, but today what we have here is a Vornado Energy Smart air circulator. This one is the model 133DC. This one is the smallest, as far as I know, the smallest model that Vornado offers in the Energy Smart series. So I'm pretty excited to check this one out. Um, I did open it just to make sure everything was all right, everything was there and it works fine, because I didn't want this video to be a complete fail, but uh, I did pack it back up just to give you guys the full unboxing experience. So let's dive right into it. Okay, that looks good. All right, let's check it out. So at the very top, we have a Fornado pamphlet, instruction manual, very nicely done. You know, the basic instructions, controls, warranty, how to clean it. And it does look like you can open it with just four screws. That's one nice touch with Tornado fans. Alright, so we have that, and we of course have the fan itself. Okay, so we have some cardboard. Set that all aside. And here we have the fan itself. So let me get the camera adjusted so we can have it in frame. All right. So we have uh, some packaging on the cord. Let's get rid of that. And some packaging on the fan. So here we have it. Man, this thing looks amazing. Now you guys know that most Fornado fans are uh, black, but this one's white with light gray blades. And these are the new color schemes on the Energy Smart fans. I think it looks great. Give you a quick pan. All right, you know what? I'll take the camera off the tripod. All right, so up close we can see the classic Fornado logo there, deep pitched blades, and of course the DC brushless motor. And as far as I know, these do have ball bearings, and I'm not sure if they're replaceable, but that's definitely a good sign, sign of quality. Nice touch with the label there. And here we have the switch, it's a complete variable speed control. So you go from low speed all the way up to maximum. And guys, this knob feels like quality. Just how smooth and precise it feels. Oh man. First impressions are really good so far. Here's a side view of it. It's very similar to the 133, which is essentially the AC version of this one. And you do have a complete range of tilt. So here is the lowest point just below horizontal, and you can go all the way up to past vertical. It's a little stiff because it's brand new, but so pretty good range of tilt there. Bring it back down. And on the rear, we have nice little touch with the logo there, motors inside there. Can't really see it. And the front grille is removable with four screws in there. So it's always, it's always nice to see that Vornado makes their fans easy to clean. Okay, so we'll check out the sticker on the bottom. Let's see how much power it draws. 13 watts on maximum speed. That is impressive. Now here's one thing I noticed with the cord. It is still fused and replaceable, but the insulation on it is a lot softer and more pliable than some of the other Vornado fans. Now, I'm not sure if this is because this is the Energy Smart fan, so we have a lower gauge wire because it doesn't draw as much current, or if this is just a new thing that Vornado has introduced, but their fans used to have really stiff cords. They were almost just like plastic. This one has a little bit more of a rubbery feel to it, more flexible, so Definitely a nice change there. 
All right, so now I have it plugged in and we'll give it a first test run. So here it is on slowest speed. Now I did give it a quick test when I first unboxed it, but this is like my first time really paying a close attention to how it's performing. So there is one thing that I'm noticing right now. If I were to give you guys a closer up view of it, there's a rhythmic sound that it produces. And this is really only present at low speeds. And that's just the nature of these brushless DC motors. And it's actually a lot quieter than this. The table is actually resonating the sound, making it louder than it actually is. So if I were to lift it, it's way less apparent. So I'm sure, and also this is a very low speed. In fact, you can almost see the blades rotating. So I probably won't be using it at this speed anyways. But gosh, this thing is quiet. You almost can't hear it, like, at all. Uh, Airflow-wise, it's a, it's a very calm breeze. Not very useful, but it's not, it's not nothing, so there's that. Alright, so I'll bump it up to its higher speeds, if I can get my drone back into tripod. Okay, so... We'll take it up a notch to, let's say, about a quarter speed. Okay, now you can hear it. Comparing this fan to my 160, which is a two-speed fan, similar size, this is still slower than the lowest speed of that fan. Very calm, quiet. Let's see how it goes. That's about 50%. So at this point, you can't hear that clicking sound anymore. It's just the airflow. And I'm a huge fan of the way these Hornado fans sound. Very soothing white noise machines. All right, let's go for a close-up shot. Yeah, it's a very pleasant sound. Gotta say, I'm very impressed so far. Okay, we'll go up to about three quarters of full speed. Oh man. So I would say this is about high speed on the 160, if not a little bit faster. And this thing is moving air. All right, full speed. Ooh. Oh man. For a fan of this size, this thing is moving some serious amount of air. Not sure that this is a good way to illustrate how much air it's moving, but... Yeah, I don't know, but... Wow, this thing is impressive. It is noisy, but... At this point, it's crazy how much air it's moving. Man, this thing is awesome. Okay, well, shut it off. That's cool. Well, there you have it, guys. That is my unboxing and first impressions of this Hornado 133DC air circulator. Um, I'm super impressed. It's built well, performs amazing, looks good, and 
yeah, I'm super happy with it. So I'll come back with a more of a review in the future uh, when I get to use it a little bit more. But so far, I'm super happy with it, very impressed. And as of now, yeah, I would recommend it to others if they're looking for a small fan. It is pricey though compared to their AC fans, but I mean, for what you're getting, 10 years warranty, it's, it's very worth it. So that's about it for now. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.